here's the deal. Batman. You in? You yeah, but I know what you okay. mean, right? You just stop because they keep resetting your sentence, isn't it? It's a pain, that isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some improvements that the, hey, the Chris, system can make. Yep. Second, I'll, check, I'll check my market board on Siren. Um, tell me if they are. I, I gotta gather up some tungsten uh, collectibles for uh, Rowena. Hmm. I mean, theoretically, I could go out there and just catch it, but. They're hard to catch. I mean, hence them going for a hundred thousand apiece. Is it the double mooching ones? Uh, I think they are. I think you have to double mooch oh, he's and, right now. and get uh, high quality. I hate the double mooch ones. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have not had any luck catching them. Uh, FF fourteen angler. Uh, give me a sec. Two, three, four, five. Yay! That should give me enough so that I can buy my fish, my fishing rod. Um. See if you can find any Hey Chris, he, um, if you've got the same Rowena as me, tungsten ore is out, and it gives like 40 white scripts. It's a minor. It doesn't say it has to be a mooch thing. That's a heavily armored dude. Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it says it can be caught. I just have to be using. You might be using the wrong trait. It says I can even catch it with the versatile lures. Oh, God. Coming oh, from no. the side. There we go. Well, let's go buy versatile lures. I mean, the nice thing is, like, that quest is so much lower level than my gear. Yeah. That, like, yeah. every fish I catch is. It has a pretty good chance of being high quality just because my stats are too high. Right. Um, Stonefly Nymph, Hadfish Larvae, Goblin Jig. No, no, no. We're going to just go grab Versatile Lures and be done with it. No conditions, no mood, no weather. Oh. So it should just be able to talk. Good old Planetarium. Man, I haven't been to one of those in years. Planetarium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, purchase gear, versatile lures. Why don't you grab yourself some versatile? Oh, hello. Lures. I think I'm a Brian. There's a grenade there. Yeah. You lit up. The Ice Pick Challenge. Holy crud. Off to Kuerthos. What's the uh, Ice Pick Challenge? Would you be willing for that one? How much? Are you going to ship someone? For high quality? Pick? Yep. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Want me to just buy them? There's three of them? Yeah, stack three. Oh, then yes. Okay. Uh, well, that's way easier. 47k. Sound good? Great. Yeah, that's fine. I'll come over. That's how much they are each on Sardotronus. No, actually, some guy listed two at 39 each, and then one at 89. So mm -hmm. you'd have to spend... <laughs> you'd have to spend 170 plus tax. God. And that, that's with the tax, of course. Um, so, yeah, 47k. I, I just rounded down. I don't... Man... Oh, rockets? You got rocket launcher? <laughs> yeah. Alright, ding level up, baby. Basically, <coughs> when you get to level 3, you can get these speculations. There's the specs, the like kind of specs. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Yeah. I like how Rainy just has this healing drone like constantly following him. There's another war. Uh. Oh, good time. You know, because this like game's based in real life and you think real life would be boring. This is a good way to make it cool. <laughs> Are you at Limsa? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, man. This is stressful. Where you really need to be, so. Recording in now. In real life, this is what it's like to have a rich daddy. Oh yeah. He just gets everything for you. <laughs> Chris is richer than me. Legitimately, Chris is richer than me. Here you go. Oh, sorry, Chris. Everyone's still loading in. Thanks. No problem. Says you've completed your challenge. Let's, uh, where do you want me to go? Off to Falcon's Nest to turn this in. Okay. Now I go back home. This will unlock cloud fishing. Oh. Which I think I already have a form of cloud fishing. Do I not? So maybe not. And then you have lava fishing, and then you have, uh, some other fishing. What's the problem with skipping your job quests? Acer fishing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The only reason I'm doing this is because I want that mount thing that lets you get the mount. I want that mount from ocean fishing. You want me? The shark? Uh, yeah, the yeah. shark mount. You want the shark. I need that double catch so that when you're getting a really good catch during a spectacle, you can... Two fish. Yeah, people. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got the baby He's shark. got the baby shark. I got the baby shark. But it, yeah. Now, my first first attempt, I got 7K. I wasn't even trying. So, 7K is easy to get. It's, it's getting past 7. That would be the missile, then. Please neutralize that fucking thing by any means necessary. Damn it. Oh wow! They're giving me they're giving me loot. Thanks. This is Dang. substantially worse than anything I have equipped. I need more tungsten ore, and I got another what hour before I get more. Boom. <laughs> I went on like a plus sign frenzy this week. And I like this, <laughs> went off mm -hmm. and got every plus sign I could find. Yeah. Boom. Skull um, lock. Cool. I'm not even trying right now. I've got an emote from Stormblood I never got. I need to go run oh. Hell's, Hell's Lid to New missions up. are available. We've got some footage of some true suns in their natural habitat. Take a look. Uh. Cool. All right. Uh, I finally beat uh, the rest of Omega today. Oh, congrats! I need to, I need to finish, uh, and I'm gonna try to finish uh, uh, eight, seven, and eight tonight. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. Off the trip. Oh, you beat Omega. I heard. Eden. Eden too. Eden seven. It's going to have the bad. Eden seven. Frickin' sucks. Eden seven is actually like very it. easy. I like, I like it. it as well, Chris. The problem with Eden 7 was people did not notice the, uh, I'm going to send you a, 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 a thing. I made an oh, He's going to go in blind. You can teleport to me, Brian. Will okay, do, Chris, sir. Will we're going to send Brandon in blind, or Brian in blind and upload it as our clear video. That's how we do it. <laughs> I was just going to send the, the map I made for the portals with the birds and, you know, because that got confusing until someone pointed it out to me. He's, I was like, yeah, you haven't, you haven't watched my guys. No, I have not. It. It's going to go in. Uh, I do it right now. On those. Well, I think the last fight, like, given Brian's comfort with other beaten fights, I think you'll be fine mechanics lines, and so it wouldn't be worth having the fight spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say what it's pretty, it is. It's a pretty incredible experience. Um, I, start I, to I even said this in the happy chat. When I found out who the last fight was, I cried. So just the whole thing, really. Just the whole lead up to the whole fight itself, the place yeah. it's located. It's the whole thing's awesome. Just start to finish. It's a great experience. 
I cried because it was it's it's an emotional fight. Uh, okay. All right. Let me go and teleport oh. to Randy now. All right. Let me see. Let me just go to. Uh, what's what is her name? All right. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna log off for the night. I will probably see you guys on Friday. Yeah. If I can, I'll catch into the stream. You guys are gonna be streaming over there tomorrow you can. after. Two sons tends to rattle quite a bit. The uh, I've got a podcast, and I texted Chris to see if he because they also invited him. I don't uh, know if he's yeah. gonna be there. What time? I don't know. I need it's. I think it's seven thirty okay. or something like that. Oh, okay. uh, you picked a fight. I'm always picking fights. <laughs> Shadow of those keepers. I go. Man, <laughs> next one got even more expensive. Now they want seventy-five thousand per fish to pay your way through this. Uh, what fish? Uh, it's called Shadow Whiskers. Really, the Shadow Whiskers? They want. 75 they, for shadow each and i need three of them God, those are hard to they, catch too that no they're not Unlocks, i mean they are but fishing. they're not well I would <laughs> they're, they are hard i never i never had a success of trying to catch them for the quest so i just bought them off the auction house all right gents i'll have a good night good night clink you, later, you get some rest buddy good yeah, night Shadow Whisker. Level 10, baby. You need high quality, correct? <laughs> yeah. The low qualities are worth nothing. Uh, when you look at sale history, the low qualities don't sell very often. I got 35k. Sweet. We saved a hostage. I feel good about myself. Uh, I don't think I want to pay that. Let's see. Okay. I'll probably call it a night, and we'll see what uh, she what shakes you loose out of my 80 items that are listed. And if I have a big haul, then maybe I'll feel ballsier. Run straight into that building, Brian. You right got in it. Front of you. you got it. No. Oh, cutscene. Keep, I keep going around. It He's doing some kind of uh, cutscene. Oh yeah. You're okay, gonna come so in and go to your right. Okay. Doesn't have a ton. Castle Thank so. God doesn't have a weather condition, so. I just gotta get blue claw shrimp, but does blue claw shrimp have a time? No and no. So, uh, I just need Giovanni and Fordland 3110. Okay, uh. Yep. Go to. Oh, first of all, I need stone. If it's a cutscene, I might mute one second. Or. Seven survivors. Yes, Manny. Seven total. The sheriff just came in. Can you get these people to safety? I'm gonna go kill the bastards that did this. You're safe now. I promise. The attack came from Jefferson Plaza. You know what to do. Hey! Kill them all. New mission Jefferson Plaza. Okay, yeah, baby, my high point. Uh, all right. Uh, no, I don't want tools. I want. Items. Classified arrangements are unique missions that are hidden in the open world. Do you guys use control when you play? Oh, yep. yeah. Hands down, dude. Yep. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to call it a night. Alright, get, get some sleep, Chris. I will go down, Chris. So, do I just teleport to you now again? <laughs> yep. Alright, let me do that. Um, I need to do emotes. Oh. I thought I was gonna hit you. What the hell? I'm gonna get my control there. No, I'm not. I, I actually wait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I like that dance. That's a good one. Uh, okay, I see where it's at. Stop trying to hit them. What the hell? Yeah, I run into the Jefferson Plaza. Mm -hmm. All I know is it's down on the controller, Star. I don't know what the keyboard is. Yeah, it's like, well, I know the controller. Uh, 
Keyboard and mouse is for plebs. Welcome to the follow force, Telexra. <laughs> Fight me. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, keyboard. Great. What, Sounds, what, I'm glad you enjoy it. You almost be playing Destiny. No, I'm playing Division. Division? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, three dollars on on uh, it was three dollars, and I was like, "Jeez Louise!" Oh, and so I, and and I'm, I got it. So it's like I got it in, in um, it was in G Four. I saw I was like, "Hey, Division Two is in G Force now." It's like great. Let me and then I went and looked. I was like, "Well, how much does it cost?" And it was like three dollars. Like, oh hell yeah! I forget gone open. Yeah, it, it's very cheap right now because. From what I understand, is Ubisoft. It's, it's, again, it's that whole thing of they make that initial money, like for like the first two or three months, mm -hmm. and they've got a bunch of people hooked, and then they just start lobbying microtransactions at it, so they don't care what the price of the base game is. Well, no, because it's all about getting players mm -hmm. in. The microtransactions are only cosmetic, though. Yeah, but you got people don't realize the most evil form of microtransaction is not gameplay mechanics, it's cosmetics. Because everyone in an MMO set setting wants to look different. Well, and they can choose to spend their money to do that. How is that evil? Yeah, I don't. I don't see how that's evil. It's. The con they know this and they they design the game that way. Yeah, they don't they give do. character options. Well, they do. They give you character yeah. options, but probably not like the ones that like you know they'll make premium you know stuff. They're like, oh yeah, people will like to buy this. Yeah, yeah and um, in Division Two, it's you can buy it outright or right. you can uh, do caches. Like you get these little cash keys. Hmm. And so you can unlock it over time, so you don't have to pay. Yeah, if they give you an in-game, the ability to get it in-game, or just buy it outright, like, that seems like the right fair. And then people will yeah. say, like, oh, that. you gotta yeah. grind too much. That's the that's a weak argument. Like, wait a minute, so you're saying that you can get it without having to spend money, but it's hard? Or you can go and just, like, if you run it, you can just spend money? Like, and you're not paying a subscription? You know, it's like, if, like... There's different models, and if it, like, you're like, oh, you love this game? Like, you want it to fail? <laughs> Do you want them not to support it? Yeah. Like, we gotta, we have to, like, we have to figure out, like, as a as a gaming community, like, we can't sit here and just say, like, you are not allowed to charge money, you know? Like, what's the like? It's just, and hopefully, like, there was a talk on it. Like, it yeah. there there is a level of it because right because you can say, uh, what is uh kind of against the gamer like we're gonna sit here and try to you know like we're not gonna we don't care we just you know and i think it boils down to trust in the developer it doesn't boil down to microtransactions it boils down to do you trust do we have a level of trust in the relationship of us the player and those making the game because if we don't trust them it doesn't matter because in the in my my point on that would be is if a game is good and if we like a game or a publisher we will praise their sales. We will like, hey, PlayStation Five sold this, or hey, this game like it's the number one game on the charts. Like we will, we will sing its praises because you know we we are a part of that. Like, and that's we we feel like they're doing good things and and whatnot. But if we don't trust them, if we don't like them, then then it's what they do is we're going we're going to look at it as like adversarial in that way. I'm enjoying the uh, division two. All I know is I paid five dollars for an outfit with flip flops. <laughs> Same. To totally did it. But yeah. But it's it's obviously like RNG, but it's like you can actually pick the specific outfit you want. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens because what we're seeing now is with like PlayStation Now and Game Pass and things like that, it's like I'm betting we'll see more games like this, but that are funneled into those kind of services. So it's like, yeah, you know, oh god. Yeah, I know. That's was like, wait a minute, like, well, that's like, how do you sneak up on? Oh, it's my team. I was like, he doesn't know what he's doing. 
Man, they just they're like fish in a barrel. Because I popped a dude's foam tank over there and stuck them all in the mud. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it feels if it like it feels kind of nice playing like these games that are that have, have have had a little time to mature a little bit, you know. So it's like, hey, mm -hmm. oh, all those bugs that were people were not enjoying at the start, they're fixed. Perfect. That is something that Ubisoft does right. When they find a bug, they get it fixed as fast as they can. DC sixty two toxic detected. Contamination level lethal. Cause look at look at the the, 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 the train wreck that was. It, you, did you play Division One at launch? I played it once. One point eight came out. Cause like Randy, I remember talking to Randy about this. Cause it was like I was like when they showed showed off the division, I was like this looks cool. And then it came out, and I was like I was, I was like busy with work, or I forgot what something was up. And I was like okay, like I, I might get it here, like you know uh, this weekend or something. And then it was like oh man, there's all of these kind of bugs. And I was like okay, well then I'll, I'll wait till. I hear, you know, like, okay, I'll, you know, like, I don't need to play it this weekend. I'll, I'll just wait. So I ended up waiting, and then it was, uh, and then it was like, okay, yeah, people really aren't playing it right now. I was like, oh, bummer. The game looked really good. And then uh, Skillet put out his, like, 1.8 review. It's like, you know, how I was like, hey, we fixed all these things. We've got all these lessons learned. And it's like, and I jumped in, and I was playing it, and I loved it. And then they announced wow. Division 2, and I was like, do I need to, like, you know, do I get to carry my character forward? And they're like, no, it's a reset. And I was like, okay, well, I'll wait. And so the reason I didn't play Division 2 at launch was I was like, well, you know, like, are, it, does it gonna, is it going to have crossplay? Like, because a lot of people were playing on different platforms. No, okay. It's not a game I feel like I can put a lot of grinding time into around my kids. It just, hands down, this is not a game that I'll play around the kids. Okay, well... You know, we got a baby coming, we're moving, we're doing all these other things and playing these other games. Like, okay, like, well, I'll wait. You call you call me when they uh, they say cross player, cross save or something like that. And then they said, three dollars. And I said, All right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, like three dollars. Like I can I can play this game for three hours and if I can ever pick it up again, then who cares? It's just three bucks, you know. Not for like if it was four dollars. Uh, uh, four dollars. That would have been a deal break now. No, it's just like, can I play a game? Like, I, I look at it, that dollar per hour of fun, and it's like, am I having fun? Hell yeah, you know, and then for three bucks, it's like, well, I mean, if I'm not having, you know, if I'm not having fun in hour four, hour five, then it's like, well, I'll just move on, you know? But if I'm having fun, then yeah, let's, let's go have fun. There we go. Sit down. Oh, God, you got a buddy. Hey, Brian, what hour are you on? Uh, I'd have to look. I'm shooting these guys. Oh god, I'm down. Thank you. Go. Oh god. Yeah, I, I do agree. It's just... Every cow's on this game's got a potty mouth. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Not only joking, I don't care. That doesn't matter. I'm on Twitch. It's, it's, on. it's mainly the enemies. I got the oh yeah, they, yeah. The, the language in the game itself is is definitely leveled up to the max. But yeah, I I will agree though. Like when Division One, like the base Division One, when it launched before all the DLC, it was a straight up garbage game. Oh yeah. No, you know, I wouldn't say garbage. It's so playable. It's it was playable, playable, but it yeah, definitely needed to that. work. It was playable. Better than some of the games that we've seen. But I was telling Same. Randy, because Randy, Randy you know, invited us over to the, the house yesterday. I haven't had fried chicken in years, so he made me gluten-free fried chicken. It was freaking amazing. And then uh, and then we just sat around and talked to Vision. I was like, man, if they sit here and, like, I just, like, I, the only disappointing thing I got from their Warlords announcement is they did not say anything about cross-save, because it's like... How like I would love crossplay, but I know that the PvP argument will come up. But for the PVE content, like it's like, yeah, let's just play together. But then I was like, okay, well, cross save, guys, come on, we can do it. I mean, PvP is not really. Is how big is it right now? Do you, does Randy know? The PvP in the division is its main selling point. For a lot the of people. Dark zone is. Dark zone, yeah. 
But these are actual PvP? These are like a deathmatch thing in this? I don't know. I just... I've never PvP'd outside of the Dark Zone in uh, in Division 1, so it was more that, uh... Yeah, I'm just, you know... Like, as Rainy was saying, like... What? Man. No. Well, there was, but there wasn't. The Dark Zone was literally... Everyone goes in, only no. some survive. I don't mean that one. Uh, there's like one where you like go in, there's like a snowstorm. The Sound of Insanity. What a great song. Like uh, at least that would make a great song. If it's not like one. Like Welcome to the workforce. With, with, with no guns. And like, sit like, down. I think Randy might remember better than me. Come on, hit that. Okay, he's dead. I'll save that then. Come on, hit it. Jeez. They're not gonna blow up? <coughs> Fine. Underground was the first DLC. Uh, yeah, that was the first DLC. Um, Good job, guys. I can't remember. I never played the DLC for Division 1. I don't remember how far I got. Like, I think I got decently far, but not like... I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm a Division Pro, the you know. Game when the DLC came out. I know, like, people, when the final DLC came out, people were like, yeah, this is actually amazing now. And I think well, that's that the biggest disappointment. Had is, that... is the uh, is the cutover, like you know, the 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 reset. Like now, Division Two, hands down, from a shooter perspective, it feels way better. It feels way better. Where like Destiny, like when you compare it to Destiny, they had that shooting, they had that gameplay from the start. Um, and then it's like in Division 1, you're sitting here like, why is this thing taking like 30, you know, this guy takes 30,000 bullets, you know, and it was frustrating. Here, it's like you chip off their armor and a good headshot, boom, and they're done. So it like Division 2 feels way more tactical in the approach of how like the encounters feel. I don't know how to do in the, uh, you get the new thing, like the new the expansion. Country, so we can the local system. I mean, it's gonna be, it's like a separate map. You be able to do that to the Go Ahead Quarter building. Get to the control room. I can walk you through the process from there. This is how to scope. Put one on it. Do I have a, do I have a scoop? Let's see here. The control room. Uh, mod. Long range optics. Okay. What else do I have? Hostile radio intercepted. It's the division. I wish I went. It's the division. It took me way longer to go through the story. <laughs> What the story of Division? Oh, the Division Two. Like it. I haven't even finished the story. I bought it on Black nice. Friday. I have both it and I bought both of them. <laughs> that's funny. On Black Friday, and I haven't really touched them that much. I think that's funny that you bought it on Black Friday, considering the game's based off Black Friday. <laughs> well, it's it's because of the dollar flu. Yeah. The dollar flu. Yeah. It seems like the second one's almost. What's up, Bianca? Oh no, they still talk about it. They say, oh yeah, this happened in, like, at the very, very beginning. Yeah. But they don't really describe it much after that's, that. That's why the new the expansion that they're bringing out seems to be, like, really <coughs> a lot more. The animations that they they did in Division One and Division Two are just unbelievable. They did such a good job. Got that right for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Eat the scope. I love a lot of things that Ubisoft do. To be honest, like what was it, Rain? That that the Kingdom Battle on the Switch. Oh, that was good. The uh, rabbits. Rabbits. Yeah, Mario and rabbits. Sure. 
That's a good game. A lot of people just like yeah, they, like really, like really enjoyed that. It's baby's first XCOM. <laughs> what? <laughs> not, not, not joking. It is kind of hard in some ways, but I, I, I just I'm just like the way it looks and everything. <laughs> It's fantastic. Baby's first XCOM. <laughs> I have never heard of that, and I was like, that's so funny. I've heard lots of good things about it. XCOM. XCOM being tactical, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, we, the, the Kingdom Battle is tactical, but uh, I think it's a little easier. I think it's a bit more easier. But it's still fun. Like, you know, because it's Mario. <laughs> yeah. Well, like Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars is like still one of my all time favorite Square Enix games. Good game, though. I love that game. I did bring that to the Switch on the SNES thing. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy. Well, it's there, I think, right? Is it? Um, no, I guess it's not in Macros Battle. I guess it's not there. It's on the, uh, the, the, the Switch, uh, like the NES Mini or something like that. Is it? Because I was like, I was, I remember playing it recently. Oh, it is. It is. Wait. Is it? I think so. Oh, it is. It, I, think, I think I've never seen it on there. Did they add it to the NES? Like the SNES? Store? Yeah, like the SNES Mini. You know. Oh, oh the Mini, the Mini. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely on the Mini. The classic. The classic, classic, thank you. Calling it, they're calling it something wrong. Like, I, I am. I gave my SNES mint. I love my SNES. I loved my SNES mini, but I gave it to me because it wasn't really got. That's nice of you. No, I mean, no, because I wanted to, I wanted to do something like over the summer. Like, um, cause you have to do. I think it's over at my, uh, I, my, my wife's, um, like, uh, parents' house. I like her SNES mini because I was like, okay, cool. Uh, What's up, Cat Potato? I wonder what it was like to just jump. To jump from the NES to the SNES, like the NES SNES. What well, I remember going from NES. I remember, I remember being on a on a Cub Scout thing, and then some kid telling me like, they're making the SNES, and I was like, they're making a new one. They're like, yeah, it's gonna be sure. more powerful. And then it's like, I never like, it's like I never heard of that things could get better. <laughs> and that was the first time. I was like, I was blown well, away as a kid. Before, right, well, I mean, there was like the Atari, but I was like, an SNES, oh. What was you like when the, old, when the, when the N64 got announced? Cause the, I was excited at first, but then they pulled my Final Fantasy from it. I know, like, they were like, I think it couldn't fit on the cartridge. Which is funny, because no. I didn't like the first Final Fantasy. Didn't he, did you hear how many cartridges they said they would need to even fit on it? 14. 14 cartridges? Gross. And it's funny because we're going back to physical. You know? That, that, it, I, think, I think that was the number. 14 cartridges because each cartridge was like... Each cartridge could only hold like 250, maybe 300 megabytes. And a compact disc at the time, which was PS1's, you know, yeah. style, it could hold 700 megabytes. So... That, that's a lot of extra storage, and Final Fantasy VII was still 3D. I remember, like, before the government evacuated a complex, a UHF Because you had to buy, you, you had the N64, like, oh, go on, I'm to play Final Fantasy. So then you had to buy a PlayStation to play instead. <laughs> See, I had Final Fantasy VII before I had a PlayStation. And so then I was like, and I remember reading that book over and over and over. <laughs> there we go. There's one. Did you aim at really, like Nintendo Power and all that? Yeah, dude. Uh, like, I, I mean, I had it till I had it till they stopped. Then till they stopped making it. It's still going in digital form, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a YouTube series now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's it. Oh, there's one. Ultra high frequency relay I... payload. Like, I literally had, like, a, a mini heart attack today because I dropped me Switch on the floor. Like, like, I tripped over my... Amazingly, I, I've actually done the same thing. And 
I've dropped it. We should be able and to drop the radio yeah. when it's Yeah. Do you have a hardwood floor or is it carpeted? Well, this is the thing. It, like, I'll explain it. Like, I, like, I got like a wire that I'm plugging to my computer in the front to, with the controller, which was mm -hmm. a stupid idea. I tripped over it. My, my, my switch was on top of the, the PC, so like, my switch went flying in the air and it landed like on a blanket, like that I put away. <laughs> I dropped mine on a hardwood floor with nothing in between it and the floor. And it survived. Like very and it well. survived. The switch is amazing. Oh no. Oh no. I know. That is one thing Nintendo's always been good at is like the durability. Durability of their system. Yeah. Even the my, Wii, my SNES the Wii U was built like a tank. My SNES still works. My Wii though did not make it that much. And it just yeah. was a dusty gathering. Yeah, it's 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 still it's still my Wii though did not make it that much. And it just was a dust gathering. It was a dust holding console. Oh, well, come on. Wait, it, it, you know what? I've had the horror stories of kids sticking pennies in them. Oh, yeah? Like, like my, yeah, my little cousin used to always stick, like, warm pences in them, pennies in them and everything. Alright. Like, it's like, why isn't it working? <laughs> No, because he was thinking he could put, like, something in it, like, because he, he should put the disc in Yeah, it. that was one problem with the Wii. It was, like, people, like, one of the guys talked about it, uh, Spawnway talked about it. He would get, like, a hundred Wiis a week, and all he had to do was change the disc drive out. And he took the disc drive apart, and it was literally stuffed with Legos. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you name it, it was That's stuck funny. in there. That's so Maybe funny. Maybe put a Lego piece in it and start the Lego game. So. <laughs> well, it was a little bitty thin Lego piece. Oh, wow. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, one, like, of the, one of the skinnies. Skinny ones, yeah. It's funny because everybody has their, like different terminology for the different Lego pieces. Are you supposed to go in here? Yeah, yeah gonna, waiting on the thing. The module, got it. We We're too good. I mean, I actually tried the, um, what is it, I used the Pokemon Home. How is it? I mean, it, it's, it's, it does its job, but again, I don't think, I think there's certain things missing in it, isn't there? Aren't they coming? Like, it's in, like, gonna be an evolving service? No, I, 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 I don't think you can, can you, is, is Spider, can you get Gen 3 Pokemon and all that? Because I can't get them. Um, I don't have Pokemon Home, but it is possible to go all the way back to Gen 3. Someone actually did it. Did he get the gen started? Gen oh man, something just launched a rocket. Um, gen, three starters, gen three starters, that was what 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 which one was that one? Uh, sap, uh, sap tile. Sapphire and Ruby? No, 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 sap septile and the uh, wait Blaziken. And no, one. what was the name of the series? Oh, okay, um, Emerald. Oh, Emerald? Yeah. So I that would have no been idea. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Yes, you can get them. Can you? I, had, I didn't. I've never seen a video on them or anything. Omega Af o o Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby. DS oh. games. Why haven't I ever seen anyone with them yet online? Because you cannot use Pokemon Home. Right. To break the uh, sword and shield lock, hmm. they have to be in the game. Oh, they're not in the game completely. Yet. Yeah. I mean, because I got me Blastoise and all that, and I got Venusaur. Oh, interesting. So you, oh, I you love get... this mission. Basically, Whoa. though. What the? Oh yeah! Chris is gonna be happy. I got two. Nice. I'm waiting on my cordials to fill back up. But yeah, um, basically, every gin except for. I'm trying to think. Was it gin four or gin five? Uh, I have to look. It's, it's been so long since I've looked. Let me see if my switch, my uh, DS has actually got a charge at all. If you look right now, while I wait for my cordial. Huh? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Huh? I'm gonna be buying that as well. 
Nice. Nope. DS doesn't have a charge. I'm looking forward to uh, Bravery Default and uh, and Crystal Chronicles, man. This is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Did that get delayed again? Did Crystal that? Chronicles, I thought got delayed to the summer, but we don't have a, a date on Bravery Default yet. Um. Okay. Generations. Let's see. Uh, red, blue, red, blue, blue, yellow. That, of course, you can get that series through. Hey, so what's going on, Joe? Gold and silver. <laughs> like, you want to come join us, Joe? We got room for uh, one more. Uh, oh, the missions will be going blazing fast then. <laughs> Let's keep winning. Restore America. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's heart gold and silver. Heart gold and so silver was one of my favorite games. Yeah. Did you get well, my was, uh my name? Uh, I have to uh, I have like three, shift F two. Notifications. Um, Diamond yes, and Pearl was except. the first DS, wasn't it? Was Diamond and Pearl the DS? Uh, Diamond and Pearl. Double up. Yeah, it was on DS. It was like yeah. the first generation. So you can get every gen through either DS, which is Pokemon <laughs> Bank. Or um, upload it up to the bank, and then you got all the rest in Pokemon Home. That's it, yeah. Which would be, yeah. Everything except for, of course, uh, Gen 1 can be put in the bank. Gen 1 cannot be put in the bank, but you get Gen 1 through um, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. So is the White House rainy where we have the... Um... Where I can uh, do my skills and such, because I think I have perks and stuff. Yeah, go yeah. I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head there real quick, and then I'm gonna teleport to you, just so I can okay. use these points of all these levels I'm getting. All right. Well, you know. Um, photo mode. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. Level eleven. Right. What? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Twelve. Level twelve now. I mean, max level is only what? Base of operations Three? upgraded. Well, fair, yeah. 30 and then the new expansion takes it to 40. The basement has been converted into a workshop. You need to go talk to people at the theater too and unlock your uh, clan <coughs> and dark zone people. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go move Annie. She got up. So I'm gonna go move her back to her bed. And then I'll be right back. I do agree, Brian. I kind of wish we had crossplay, so me and you could play together. Because you're on PC right now, technically. It, it, even if it was like we wanted to say, let's just keep crossplay PVE focused, right? Like it's like okay, yeah. if you want to do PVP, like do cross save and go be on the same platform, just to preserve that. But at a minimum, it's like, good lord, let's just play with your friends. Because it would be awesome if me and you could play together. I, I, Agreed. Like I, said, I bought Division like Two. And this is so much fun. Friday. It's just hanging out. I haven't had a chance to play it because I know. none of my friends want to play it. Right. And it's like, I'm sitting here like, it's fun, uh, yeah, Spongy four, was like, like what, what platform? He's like, PC. I was like, perfect. I got it on PlayStation 4 as well, actually. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I am, Sparta, I, I'm on Division 2 all the time on PS4, and I see you playing Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> I'm just saying. True. Well, I don't I'm ever get, like... <laughs> yeah. I'm playing 14. It's also because I got like four, five, five characters, and I'm trying to get them all you. caught up. Hey, yeah, no, no judgment. There's judging. no judgment. Yeah. Just saying, you want to play? I'm always on, buddy. This is my relax game because I've literally been on the verge at work, telling my boss to shove it. Uh, it sorry that your job is. Yeah. It's stressful. That's no fun. Well, it's not. It's, it's actually, and this is the sad thing. It's not my boss. It's really not. My boss is cool. My boss actually plays 14. I literally asked him the week before patch, hey, I need Tuesday off, please. And he asked me why. And I was like, patch day. He's like, okay, you'll have Tuesday off. What boss will do that, right? He understands patch day is important. Told Randy, I was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be busy on Tuesday, <laughs> and he said, 
nerd. <laughs> <laughs> like nerd. But then the problem is it's not him, it's his boss who really hates me. Cause I did something that literally he sh- they should have already done. Cause I'm gonna see you. Like, yeah, it, it was a mess. I don't want to talk about it because I know you're streaming and My inventory, thank you. Let's see. Yeah. I really don't want to get this. Yeah, no worries, man. No like worries. Yeah, we don't want to get we don't get anybody in trouble. Yeah. You know what uh calms me down? It's this little noise that goes when you get a headshot. I mean <laughs> it's conjure right now. Oh so yeah. So keep calm. focusing keep focusing on the XP. Yes. Okay. And then max that out. All right. Oh man, I have 17 more points. So XP oh, is maxed more. out. Inventory. So is that okay? Inventory. Uh huh. And then grenades and armor pa- armor packs. Okay. So max out inventory. Oh baby, 20, 40 slots. Holy smokes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that requires level 30 for the last one. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. And then let's see here. Then you said uh, armor kits. Armor kits and grenades. Okay. Okay. Now I've got twelve points left. Um. Burr, burr, burr. Get, your atta- get your attachments. Oh, grenades! Sorry, the grenades. Uh, is zone. I, I did the resupply. Sorry. Oh, no, that's good. That's fine too. And then anything else you have, go to attachments. Uh, I would do the clips <coughs> first. Okay. Okay, cool. We are now out of perk points. All right, now I have got four skill unlocks, and I've done one okay. seeker mind and one turret, but I'm seeing you walk, walk around with a healing drone. You can get that, yeah. So, um, fixer, is that the one? Yep, that's the one. I'll grab that one. Cool. Um, I'm going to not equip that now. Yeah, one second. Hey, babe, I'll, be, also, I'll be right down. I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> there's also the hive. Yeah. Uh, the revive I'll see you hive. Love you. Bye. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, I thought you were talking to me and saying you love me. I, oh, I do love you. I do love you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, the revive hive. The revive that's, hive. Yeah, that's a good one, especially when you're learning the game. Uh, when you go down, if it's up, it'll auto drop and auto revive you. Okay. Reviver. Got it. Mm hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's Joe. Uh, Joe, if you want, like our Discord link is like everywhere it should be, but if you need it, I can retoss it back into chat, and that way you can come hang out in voice. Um, Are right, you on Twitch or Twitch? Okay. I got the I'll drone. I'll do it for you. Grab the sheet. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Um, of I'll course, I'm not a subscriber, so I have to watch the ad. Bulwark. And I'll just grab another one just for fun. Pulse. Go on, just getting the skills. All right, let me go uh, change out. Uh, they put the kids where they belong. I'll be right back. 